Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Coffee with Me and Jesus. I'm glad to be back on. It's been a few days. I've been doing a lot of running. A lot of things have come up, and I've just been not on for a while. I hope some of you missed me. Um, I know my friend in Hawaii, Malia, misses me. So today this is for you, Malia. And what I want to talk to you about is how busy life can be and how we get caught up in things that are important. We have to be here, we have to be there, we've got this pending issue, that pending issue. And we just find ourselves almost like that saying, we're like a, a dog chasing his own tail because we're going round and round and round and trying to get this and that done. But the Lord dropped in a scripture in my heart and it's in Psalms 109, 26. And it can probably be found many places throughout the Word of God. But it's a simple, help me. Help me, O oh Lord my God. Help me. Now, there are so many times that we find ourselves in situations that all we can do is call upon our God and ask Him to help us. We turn to physicians for our sickness and illness, and they can help. But there always is just one true source and all in all that we can really rely on, trust in, and have faith in, and that's our God. And the Lord gave me a dream the other night, and I want to share it with my believers. God was showing me that his people are being pulled into a corner. His people are all in a corner, backed into a corner out of fear because they don't know what to do anymore. Whether it's sickness, financial, spiritual, they are backed in a corner because of fear. And God was telling me that he gave a word to me that if my people would only truly trust me, I would bring them out. They need to come out of that corner. You tell my people to come out and trust me and I will be their God. And that coincides with this scripture. Help me. Sometimes we get backed in a corner and we've just lost all we we've lost all hope. We've lost uh, our confidence in God and we just stay stationary in that stillness. But see, we're not st sitting there in stillness according to what the word of God says. It says, be still and know that I am God. We're in that stillness of despair, of no way out. We're locked into fear. And God is saying, come out and know that I am God. Just come out, trust in me, rely upon me, call to me, and I will help you. I love my people, and my people need to know that I am a living God. I am not a God that is just some form of statue that you put on your buffets or on your mantles or on your dressers. I am the living source. You are only alive today because I called you by name. And if I called you by name, I am not going to abandon nor am I going to leave you. I am going to direct your steps. I am going to show you a way that appears as there is no way. I am going to step in and show you a way out. I am a God that is not a man that should lie. And every word in my word is true. It's truth. Whatever you ask me, I will give to you. Whenever you seek me, you are going to find me. Whenever you knock on that door, I am going to answer. I will never ever abandon you nor leave you and that is my message people that there are many that are stuck in a corner but they're they're not calling on the lord and the lord wants you to call on him because that is how he moves he moves because of our words everything that he created was in a word form so until we cry out and call unto the lord kind of his hands are tied because we are the ones that have to call unto him. That's called that free will. 
we have to call to him. So I'm encouraging you all to call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. The simple scripture in Psalms 109, 26. Help me. Help me, O Lord, my God. Help me, O Lord, my God. Now I'm going to pray for all of you out there. And I am really happy to be back on. I've missed y'all. And I hope there are you that have missed me and followed me. But share my posts. And let's continue to be supportive of one another. Build one another up. You know, people, we need to start thinking all about me. And we need to step out and be service to one another. Whether it be financial or just a helping hand or just sitting and listening. Let's stop being so selfish for our own needs and let's extend ourselves one to another. Amen? Father, I pray for the body, Lord Jesus. I pray for all of creation, Lord. I pray for those who are sick. I pray, Father, that they will have the faith to understand that your blood that was shed on the cross covers every sickness and disease. Now, Lord, that healing may come through the doctor's hands or that healing may come in a miracle, but the fact of the matter is, God, that we have a way to be healed. And I thank you for that, God, and I ask for your people to receive that knowledge, that understanding, and that wisdom. I pray for the people Lord, who are financially lacking. And I remind them to look outside and observe the birds. Today, observe the birds and observe um, the flowers, those that have started to pop out. Lord, that they never work, and yet you provide them food. Now, that does not mean that we should not work, Lord. Because your word is clear that a man or woman that does not work, does not provide for themselves, is not even worthy for us to sit down and eat with them. Lord, we all have to work, God. That is, we are, we are capable of working, Lord. So I pray that people understand that and that you will lead them to the right jobs. I pray for openings of, of positions for these people that are lacking, God. And for those that have no clothes on their back, God, there are so many resources today, Lord. Food and resources are in abundance. What's not in abundance, God, is your word and the truth of your word, God. It has been manipulated and it has a price tag. But today, Lord, open up the people's eyes and lead them to the right jobs, God, to, so they can financially support themselves, God. I thank you, Lord, for all these people who continue to trust in you, Lord. I ask you to extend faith and favor to them and to teach them to help one another, God. Help the homeless. Help those that are without God. You will bless them abundantly so they may help their own family and others, Lord. But let them be led by your spirit, Lord, not by others' enticing words, God, but by your spirit. And I pray for those that are tormented mentally, God, who, who are just mentally, mentally lost, Lord, be, whether it be drugs, alcohol, medicinal, Father, that you would free them, free them and let them all know, all these people, working, work, uh, um, physical, spiritual, that there is one that they could go to. And it is you, Father, and that if they will follow through the Psalms 109, 26 and cry out and say, help me, Lord, you are a faithful and a just God that will meet every need for them and lead them out, Lord. Lead them out of the place of despair that they're in. In Jesus' mighty name, I give you all glory, all honor, and all praise. And in return, you have blessed me through the death of Jesus Christ to have right standing with you, Father. And I glorify Jesus. And I thank you, Jesus, for taking all my sins on the cross and making me 
where I am today because I trusted and I believed in you. And I many times look back and I recall and I know what it is to be without. I know what it is to count pennies and dimes and nickels for a loaf of bread to feed my family. I've walked those shoes out. And today, Lord, it's easy for me to give a loaf of bread to a family in need. And I know, Father, what it is to be in a mental tormenting life. And I also know, Lord, what it is to have a good man and have an abundance of life, Lord, because you have given that to me. And I don't take those things lightly. And I thank you, Father. And I ask you, Lord Jesus, to pull out these people who have the faith and who have the belief to know that they can call and say, Lord, it is written here in Psalms 109, 26. Help me, O Lord, my God. Have a blessed day, everyone, and we will see you soon. Be blessed in Jesus' name and call upon the Lord, for he is waiting, waiting, waiting to answer in Jesus' name. Amen.